Hi everyone, welcome to Mysteries from the Mitten. My name is Kristen and I bring you true crime cases right here on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in staying tuned for, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime I post new content. Today we're going to be discussing the case of Bryn Bills. Although this case recently had a break, there's still a lot of information that's unknown. The last time Bryn Bills was seen by her friends or family was August 1st of 2021. Bryn was just 17 at the time she went missing. She had been living with friends in Alpena, Michigan. And unfortunately, there's not a wealth of knowledge about Bryn's background, but I was able to find out via her Instagram account that she had been in a relationship with a boy named Austin Meese since July 17th of 2021. Outside of Instagram though, I did find some information that seems to share that they may have broken up prior to her going missing, but I couldn't confirm this. In the months and weeks leading up to Bryn's disappearance, she had shared some things on her social media that seemed to make it appear that she was struggling with some very sensitive issues, including toxic relationships, lies, and gossip. In May, Bryn shared a picture of a lion roaring in the face of a monkey and shared the caption, do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Two weeks later, she wrote, don't let the bastards get you down. In June, she posted a note about how she had been feeling hurt and how she felt like she had to put on a facade to make it look like everything was fine. Once Bryn went missing, her phone was quickly untraceable and turned off. For weeks, there were no tips coming in to help in the search for Bryn. Her father put out a $20,000 reward for information that could lead to locating his daughter, but still the waiting continued. Then, almost two months after Bryn had gone missing, the Michigan State Police received an anonymous tip which led them to a home on West Naylor Road in Alpena, Michigan. This was on Tuesday, September 28th of 2021. Upon arriving at the home to execute their search warrant, police discovered that there were patches of dirt in the yard that appeared to have fresh dirt poured over them, as well as areas that looked to have been recently dug up. This discovery would change everything. One of the investigators said that when they found the patch of dirt, it was pretty evident that there was something there and we were able to identify the locations of interest that we should focus on, but it did take a long time to come across the human remains and get them out of there. The body was confirmed to be that of Bryn Bills through tattoos that matched the description of the tattoos that she had herself. At this point, the case was then changed from a missing person's case to a suspicious death. Bryn's cause of death is still pending in autopsy and pathology results, and although these results will be eventually available to the public, they may take months to be completed. State police said the home where Bryn's remains were found belonged to Joshua and Chelsea Wergu. Although this isn't in any of the news articles, some of the digging that I did makes it appear that Joshua and Chelsea may actually be married and have two kids of their own. 34-year-old Joshua Wargu had actually been arrested the night of Monday, September 27, 2021 on charges of unlawful imprisonment and assault with a deadly weapon. Although the timing seems to be right, these charges have been said that they are unrelated to Bryn's case. In a press conference, police have confirmed that Joshua is a person of interest in this case and that he has retained an attorney. Workout has been on the sex offender registry since 2009. In February 2009, he was convicted of criminal sexual conduct in the third degree on a person between the ages of 13 and 15 years old. And then in May of 2009, he was also convicted of criminal sexual conduct in the second degree. Wargau is currently being held in Alpena County Jail without bond. In an interview, Bryn's best friend, Jessica, said that she is just completely heartbroken. She said she has no idea why anyone would want to harm Bryn. She said that Bryn may have just been too trusting of the wrong people. Jessica had also said that Bryn is friends with someone who's close to Joshua, but she did not have a direct connection with him. After learning of her death, Bryn's father did post on social media, and he stated, it's with a heavy heart that I'm letting everyone know we did find Bryn's body yesterday around 4.30 p.m. We are still actively seeking any information on what has transpired and we are not exactly sure of her cause of death. So if anyone has any legit information, please come forward so we can bring the people that harmed my daughter to justice. He then said, we are not done Bryn Bills with the people who shortened your life. Love you Bryn with all my heart. Hashtag justice for Bryn. 
Bryn would have turned 18 on August 12th of 2021, and although her remains weren't found until September 28th, her father still believes that she didn't make it to her 18th birthday. In a statement to Up North Live News, the Bills family said that while there is some closure in finding her remains, there is still work to be done. The family is encouraging people to use the hashtag Justice for Bryn. They have released a statement as a family, which reads, Words cannot begin to describe the amount of gratitude we have for the public's help with Bryn's story. Every like, every share, every comment may seem so small, but in the world of the internet, it adds up to a viral storm of social awareness. We believe that it is what helped lead to Bryn being found and getting some closure. From video, photo, and art tributes, and sharing Bryn's story to numerous outlets that they hadn't even thought of, and coming together even for a feed on the ground search, we simply couldn't have possibly done all of that ourselves. Please know that you've made a great impact, even now, seeing it through and drowning us with love, support, and condolences. However, and yet, it's not quite time for Bryn's army to disband. Her story is not over, not until we get justice for Bryn. We thank you for it all. Police are asking for additional tips from anyone who spoke to Bryn around the time of her disappearance. People are asked to call tips into the Michigan State Police Alpena Post at 989-354-4101. If you have any additional information regarding Bryn's disappearance or what transpired after August 1st, please contact the Michigan State Police or Crime Stoppers. There is also a candlelight vigil scheduled for October 23rd in honor of Bryn. And if you'd like more information, you can go to Facebook, Remembering Bryn, and you'll find that page with more information. Although police have named Joshua as a person of interest, that doesn't mean this case is solved and there could be more people who were involved with Bryn's death. Thank you so much for watching and listening to Bryn's story. Please share this video to get the word out there so that someone may come forward with the information police need to piece this case together and get justice for Bryn. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.